Hi everyone, my name is Shahana and I am from Tajikistan and uh, I currently live in Canada. Um, I'm Alan or Alan. I'm, uh, I grew up in California, but I'm from a Iranian Jewish family. Um, so I'm in Los Angeles now. Hello everyone, um, I'm Hossein here. Uh, I'm from Iran, from the city of Kerman, the, uh, from the southern, southeastern part of Iran. Uh, and currently I'm living in Germany and I'm happy to be here. Uh, I'm Batsayon, I'm from Israel and uh, I was born in Azerbaijan. Um, I nowadays a pensioner, but deal with uh, Jewry language. My name is Hila, and I'm a translator and editor um, and a PhD student in literature. Um, I grew up in the US Midwest, um, and my family roots are Ashkenazi, but I've had this enormous privilege of studying Jewry with Batsyon and also with Yevashal Vedabramova. About history of Jewry, I can say that uh, the mountain Jewish the one is um, lost tribes of Jewish nation. And they, in the fifth century BC, settled in ancient Persia. Onwards, they, according to circumstances, historical circumstances, immigrated to the mountain areas of Caucasus. That's why they are called mountain Jews. And afterwards, they uh, settled in uh, territories, various territories of uh, modern, modern Russian Federation, as uh, Chechnya, Kabardina, Balkaria, Dagestan, where, uh, uh, and in, uh, in Azerbaijan, the Garmazuk Asaba, and Oguz. Thank you so much for the, the brief background. Uh, so now let's uh, start. So uh, you can go ahead and do the first sentence. Okay. Um, but Tion and I are going to alternate. So the first sentence is, Me bist penj salayum. Me bist penj salayum. Yes, I'm, I'm 25, 25 years old. Yes. Okay. That's yeah. Perfect. That, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. So this, this is this is the easy part where you kind of like ease into it, and that's perfect. <laughs> uh, and uh, now we can do the second one. Two, 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 three. Two, two, three. You say what did you say? I think. Yes, yeah. of course. You are right. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Of course, there are many, it's important to, I think, say that there are lots of um, dialects of Jewelry and um, lots of variations in how this could be said. This is obviously one of those sentences where it could be like, <laughs> you know, it could be lots of different tones of voice. <laughs> That's what Batsyon says to me if I haven't done my homework. Um, yeah, because like we would say, <laughs> uh, I, I, um, I don't know, how would you say it in Tajikistan? Pretty much the same, right? Yeah, we say, Tajikistan. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. There. Okay. So now let's do the third one. Okay. Ades chapi anu angustari surfi debu. I have a, a red ring on my left hand. This is interesting. Okay. Can you repeat it again? Sorry. Ades chapi anu angustari surfi debu. Yeah, I would say something to do with the left hand and a ring, a red ring on that finger. I don't know. So the, the interesting difference, I think, is that surh in, in many Eurasian languages means red, and jewelry means gold. Wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah, and this is also in third person. So it's um, on another person's left hand, um, her or his left hand. Mm. Yeah, so des and is like a, another person's hand. Okay, okay, yeah. So this is where it's starting to get a little bit more challenging. And I think for the next one, Alan, you're definitely gonna have to uh, jump in and, and help out a little bit. So so like I said, the beginning, it's gonna ease into it and it just gets a little bit more challenging. So now we can do the next one. Okay, 
Uh, Once more. Uh, in Boros, yes, please. In Boros, Mara, at who Rafta Gadakbu? Oma, for Musotum. So you were supposed to go somewhere today, but you forgot to do it. So, yes. But... And what is it somewhere? What, <laughs> what is to cook? To, oh, cool, like mountain. I was supposed to go to the mountain, huh? Yeah, I don't know where she was supposed to go. Is it um, a shop or something like that? Something, something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to go, oh, no. I was supposed, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 maybe I was We have it. something somehow similar <laughs> to it. It's Dokan in Persian. It's uh, like yeah. the shop mm -hmm. or the store. Is it the market? Do you say, oh, do you say tukan? Do you say tukan? Uh, if tukan? it's a store, then no, we say uh, dukan or dukan. It means a it's store, a, like a, a store convenient market. small store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah. Of course. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in uh, in Jewish Aramaic languages, it's tuka, so it's very similar. Tuka. Okay, um, so I'll do the next one. And this is actually um, pretty long. So I'm gonna read all of it first and then I'll read it in parts. Pushoi bakjir hobu. Girmiho yekem hul birenge, hovoi shahangum, chushme eposoi da kopech no biren buhovecht, kelemerd aziz, se sale neve hishtere marale, arujok the girde, nishtebu, ehe vuichuna. So, the first part sounds like this. Pushoi bok shirehobu. Like in the back of a small garden or the back that we have a small garden in the back. Yeah. This is um, to give a hint. It's um, about a time, not a place. Oh. Can you repeat is it, is it one more time? Yeah, I could recognize Bachche, but yeah, the rest. Yeah. It's actually, it's a little deceptive. So, um, Pushoi is the first word. The second word is Bokchireho. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure for us, when we say Bokche, it also could mean like preschool time. Like, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so in our case, the, the components of the second word, um, Bok is the first one. Okay. The second component is Chira. And the third component is ho, bok chira ho. So it's garden. something related to garden, but that's not bok yeah. Definitely. Bok okay. Yeah, um, so bok it, it's true that it's a cognate, um, but in this case, chira means to cut, um, and it's used in a lot of compound verbs. So like shaving and stuff like that, or like, you know, cutting your hair. In this case, it means harvest. So bok chira ho. Oh, um, is harvest and pushoi uh, um is like the very um, beginning of the harvest season. Okay. And then um, this next bit is like a really long sentence, but it has a few phrases um, that I think have some cognates with um, other languages. So the first phrase is Germiho yekem khurd birange. Germiho yekem khurd birange. Yekem is uh, is uh, a little. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And so khurd bira. Mean... Oh, is like the warmth is. Uh, I mean, khurd it means small. So if you think mm -hmm. about it, maybe it's like the warmth is kind of uh, that's fading, and then then the color is changing. Totally. Um, yeah. Exactly right. Um, yeah. So kermiho yekem khurd biranga. So as the warmth was dissipating a little. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. so spot on. Hovoi shachangum is next. Hovoi shachangum. Hava is the weather. Yes. Yes. Shachangu. Shachangu could be Shachangu. like uh, winter? No, cold? No. That no, means uh, the, the weather was warm, right? Is hot. Not quite. In this case, I, I think um, I was a little bit misleading. Hovoi, in this case, it can refer to the weather, but it, in this case, it refers to a time of day. 
Oh, okay. So, have I shot him? Yeah. Like in the evening, maybe? Exactly. Because, yeah. Okay. So, awesome. The next bit is Chushme a Poseid Dalko, Pachno Biren Buho Vecht. Chushme a Poseid Dalko, Pachno Biren Buho Vecht. I could get one word that was Cheshme, that's spring, water mm -hmm. spring. Whoa, that's, yeah, um, yeah. Yes. different for us. <laughs> oh, it could be like eyes or seeing, like Cheshme. No. Another word for this in Juhudi is Oftai. I don't know if that helps. Oftai? Is it sunny? Yeah, it's the sun. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> oh. yeah Cheshme means sun. How about Daqa? Daqa? Or the, the singular is Daq. Daqa could be like peasant, like Dehqan? No. Yeah, okay. um, yeah it's hot, Daq. Yeah? No. No. Daq. Yeah. A minute yeah. is another possibility. <laughs> No, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's um, but it is definitely cognate with a lot of um, a lot of Eurasian languages. Uh, for example, um, the sentences that I'm reading were written in Dalkistu. If that helps. Oh, Dalkistan. Yeah, like the country. But this is just um, one word, and it's Dalk. I think. That's something in Turkic languages. It's mountain. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, right. You are right. You are right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Chishme, so the sun, Eposoy Dokko. Um, this actually, Chirona, the word that you were thinking of earlier, Eposoy Dokko. So, I'm imagining the, the sun uh, okay. is uh, coming from uh, behind of the mountains. Yes. Absolutely. And here the it's pachne bira, pachne hiding. Yeah. 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 Pachne bira. So chushme aposay daqa pachne bira buho vecht. It went behind the mountains and kind of like hiding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the time when the sun is, is hiding behind the mountains. Um, and here's the next part. Kalemerd Aziz se sala se sala ne vechtere marale. So Kalemerd. 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 The old man. Oh, yeah. Oh, like a pyramid, <laughs> like a, a, a older yeah. man. Okay. Yeah, totally. Piramard is synonymous here. So Kela okay. is like old and Pira is like really old um, in okay. this case. So Kela okay. Aziz, um, where Aziz is a name. Um, okay. okay. Yeah. Three years. Is that it? Yeah, three year old uh, grandchild? Yes. Yes. Never. Never, yeah. Yeah, never. The, uh, the, the syntax is different. Like the, the word order is different than Farsi. Mm -hmm. How would you say it? It's like, uh, uh, yeah. Oh. It might also be because it's poetic or literary. So that can also change the. Uh, no, this would, this is standard, um, yeah. this particular syntax, so. I guess I mean, but, it, like if, if you wrote that in, in Farsi in a literary way, then you might do a similar syntax. Hmm. Um, gotcha. Okay, so, um, and then Maral is the name of the granddaughter. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, we have Kelamard Aziz, Se Sala Neve Khushtar Marale, Ekhujok Begurda, Ekhujok Begurda. <laughs> this part might not be cognate, but it means I'm um, kind of like holding in an embrace. 
So kojok means embrace. And oh, kind of carrying. We say that. We say really? It means to hug someone. But it's like a Turkish okay. origin. Okay. Yeah. That explains yeah. it. <laughs> and then this is the last phrase of this part. Um, very last <laughs> phrase. Nishtabu ehevui khuna. He was sitting in the backyard of the house. Not the backyard. This is also hevui. Hevu. Oh, like the yard. Yard would be hayot. But this is um, the veranda. So um, you all totally got it. And um, <laughs> this is actually, it's awesome that you were able to uh, parse this because it's a very special sentence. It's the very opening lines of the first novel that was ever written in Djibouti. Um, mm. And that's also why it sounded kind of literary. So the novel is called Khoshihoyangur or Clusters of Grapes. And it's by Mishi Bakhshiev and Bakhshiev, excuse me. And um, it was written in, in uh, 1963 or published in, in 1963 in Dagestan. Um, and that's why it's so like, this is a very like classic Judy sentence because it has so many adverbial phrases, right? So like, okay, it was early in the harvest and then it's like in the evening air and the sun became hidden behind the mountains. The old man Aziz holding his three-year-old granddaughter Marad in his embrace was sitting in the veranda of his house. So <laughs> like the basic sentence is just like, uh, but there's all this other detail that you all um, were able to figure out. So that's fantastic. Um, and thanks to Mishi Bakhshiev for this, um, this awesome sentence. This is uh, the part, a little part of the poem that I wrote. And uh, the poem is uh, called Zoom that they say mother tongue, mother language, as Ukinagul and Sevgini, Adul Harkas, Ugermini, Chanturlea Manini, or was it Zoom the day? Otan? Once more? <laughs> I told him <you> Hebrew. All right. Uki Nagul and Sevgini. Uki Nagul and Sevgini. Adul Harkas U Germini. I think the first one it means that whoever that does not love their mother I, I don't know it, it's like sevgini it's, isn't it like a turkish word like for turkey yeah. love yeah an it could mean like anne which means like mother so you said like mother tongue so maybe it's kind of sevgi here is a, a synonym of mahabbat if you yeah. know this word mm -hmm. yes U is uh, uh, known, is spoken about Zoom the day. It's mentioned Zoom the day. Uki, Nagul, and Sevgini. Oh, Nakul. Like Nakul Kazan, no? The root? Like How do you say it? story? How do you say story? Story in Persian is Dastan. Oh, he called it. There is Dastan. The stan is a latch as a legend. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Nagul is little stories. Okay. The story about is not mentioned the stan as legend, but is a, mm -hmm. here we say Uki Nagul and Sevgini. Sevgizi Mahabat. You know mm -hmm. it. Yeah, it's love. The, do Whoever you catch loves, the uh, like who, who loves uh, like stories? Whoever they love stories. Story of love. Oh, okay. It is a story mm -hmm. of love. Mm -hmm. Yes. Adul Harkas u Germini. Dul. They don't need a. It's the warmth of everyone's heart. Everyone's heart. Germ. It's a warmth or okay. warm. Warm. Okay. So that, yeah. does it mean that uh, everyone who knows the story or the little story, uh, his or her heart is warm? Does it 
the complete uh, meaning of this poem? <laughs> Okay. Mother, la, uh, mother tongue is story of, of love, love. Yeah. and it is warm, hot, hot in heart of everybody, everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Chand to lay a or was it the one that they chand? Turlia Maanini. Chand, you know. Yeah, how, how many? How many? How many? Yes, of course. Turlu. Turlia Maani. What is Maani? Maani is the meaning. Maani, what is? Meaning. Meaning. Maano is the meaning. You you are right, but mm -hmm. ma'ani is another word. Ma'ani is the song. Oh. Um. Chant to lia ma'anini. Now you can guess the meaning of the word to look. It sounds to me something like Turkic. Uh, How do you say uh, kind? Mehraban. Mm. Mehraban. Excuse me. Oh, del sos. Oh, the other kind oh, of kind. Me like type. Oh. <laughs> what kind? Yes. Oh, kind. No. no. Namut. Mm. No. It is it is kind. Chan to lia maanini. And how many different can, kinds of songs there are? Like there are many different types of songs. How how much kinds? Yeah. How many kinds of this song? Or was it zoom that they? Or was you know? Um, yeah. yeah. How many there are different types of songs and this melody of? Mother tongue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That's how many kinds of songs and uh, uh, our mother tongue that mm -hmm. we sing, uh, we uh, uh, listen every moment of our life. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Nice. So you say uh, mother in Juhuri as Dada or Dada? Dadai. Dadai, okay. Yeah. So, Dada. uh, it, it sounds to me something like Georgian because in Georgian language, uh, mother is called Dada in Georgian. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I yeah. wonder, Batsyan, if you could read the read it one more time, the whole stanza, so we can like fully appreciate since it's you know, it's your poetry and your words. Yes. All right. <laughs> That's very beautiful, especially now that we understand every part of it. You have a lot more appreciation for it. That was that was wonderful. So thanks for sharing that one. <laughs> Once you once you know the meaning, then you understand more of the words. <laughs> so, like the mm -hmm. tur was it turlia, something like that is the turlu. Turlu. That's like that's like we say tor also in Farsi, like chator. Mm -hmm. um, it's like another word for a kind of something or a type. As tavune and nuviste gorhoi juhuri nuvistenge. Zuhun juhurira vomuhtanga ma asar of Toremki achatina vachtho Zuhun juhuri agad and folklore ma aniho ve edebiot zihistani Ya ma alumma yeva shalvera bramava Rahbar and theater and jurhoi tokini U zuhuna as in the gofevos ari achalk rasunda 
ادايكم كي سخته يا معلمي جيما بتسيونا برامفا الى ازي شهيري و ايمو اجوفونها اريرا تشي ان زهونا فينيرا زهونا خوب و مختي ادايكم كي سخته I'm wondering if anyone has like a sense of the gist before we like get into, you know, um, phrase by phrase, like what in general is this about? Uh, Juhur, Juhuri people of Dagestan, I think, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. And I've heard the name of Batsyan Abramova. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> um, and you probably also heard Ma'ani, this word that we just talked about. Um, like the folk music and that delivered it to the person, like and their contribution to the survival of the language. Yes, yes, fantastic, spot on. Um, okay, so um, this first bit is um, a little bit about me, um, like um, how I've learned um, about these developments. So um, I'll read it one more time. As tavunai and nuvista gorhoi juhuri nuvistenge. That's the first phrase. And you probably hear one word, nevista, repeated twice. Yeah, uh, I think once it means writings. It sounds something like neveshtar to me mm. in Persian. Neveshtar is writing. Yeah, spot on. It's the noun. So, yeah. Yeah, nevista god means yes. writer. Mm. And, Juri, so, and it has been written. Yeah, so um, nevista gorho is writers, and then Nuvistanga means um, like by by writing or as as I'm writing. So it's as okay. I'm writing about Jihuri writers because that's yeah. um, you know my um, research work. Mm -hmm. And then zuhun juhurira vamuhtanga. The verb here is vamuhta. It's to oh, learn. Then, to learn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So as I've been writing about Jihuri writers and learning Jihuri, learning the Jihuri language. Ma asar of toran ki, so asar of tora. From the beginning, or like mm -hmm. I kind of realized that. Ser um, does mean beginning, um, but it okay. also in this case means something else. So, like it came to my like attention, or it came to my like head. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's I really love this phrase. Asar of tora means to understand, um, okay. and of tora means to fall. <laughs> <laughs> so when you understand something, it falls into your head. Instead of tara, it is word combination. Yes. Meanings varasira. If you know this word, varasira. Instead of tara, the word combination. Varasira, the unit word. Me, they, they are synonyms. Mm -hmm. Varasira also meaning to understand. Um. So mm. and during our lessons, Batsyan is often asking me varasirani. <laughs> and then I can say yes or no. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, but Eser of Tara. And there's an awesome um, inversion of it, Eser van Gesta, which means to explain or to like beat it's into someone's head. head. <laughs> yeah. um, so, Me Eser of Taramki, I understood that. Et Chetina Vachto. Chetina Vachto. Like what times? Like Ch so chatin means something else. Vachta is times, yeah. But chatin. Chatin mm vachta. -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I mean, when you mm -hmm. when you feel hard in your life, it is difficult. Mm -hmm. Chatin vach difficult. Yeah, chatin vach is a difficult time. Zuhun juri. Agad and folklore, Makniho, the Adebiot Sihistani. So Echetina Bachto, Zuhun Juri, Agad. Like the, the Juhuri language has survived like hard times. Like mm -hmm. Zihistan, it means Zistan, or like to yeah. live through. Okay. Yeah, and it lives um, inside of folklore and songs and literature, even um, during mm -hmm. hard times. So Agad N or Azrad N. Ya ma'alum ma? Ma'alum, is this a familiar word? Singer. Singer. Yep. Oh, here in this case, it's different. Uh, it's um, ma'alum. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, evident. known, something known. known. Obvious. Obvious, yeah. In, in this case, it means teacher. 
Oh, um, ma'alimah. Oh, ma'alim. Oh, ma'alim. Yeah. Yeah, ma'alim. Um, so, so yeah. Vowel, vowel mm-hmm. changes. A lot, a lot yeah. of times the word is the same, but the vowels are different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it often happens. Um, yeah, so yeah, ma- oh, I think actually, yeah, that's very consistent. It's, for example, zalim um, because, becomes zalum in, mm-hmm. in juri, that kind of thing. Oh, interesting. Um, uh, the opposite happens in um, in some of the Iranian Jewish languages mm. where the, the usan becomes e. Hmm. Dang, that's cool. Yeah. Um, Can you yes. make an example, please, Alan? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like um, like uh, pool money is pil, or like hmm. tufan, a storm is tifan. Things wow. like that. <laughs> Um, so Yama Alumna, one of my teachers, Yeva Shalvera Abramova, um, who isn't Shalvera yeah, Abramova. Yeah, nice. they're not related. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yeah, Yeva is um, my other wonderful um, teacher, Rechber and Theater and Jur Hoy He was the leader the of the or the head of the uh, theater in the uh, Dagestan. The Jews of Dagestan. The Jews of Dagestan, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, um, in this case, just mountain Jews. So, uh, just means mountain Jews generally. But she is okay. also from Dagestan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, the word, um, the word Jur also. So, Jur is Jewish, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, which is cool because that, that comes from, it's like the same as in, in Iran, they say Yahudi. Mm-hmm. Yahud. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, the D sound in Yahud changes in different languages. Yeah, Juhur in itself means Jew, like the, you know, yeah. a single person. Yeah. Juhur ho mm-hmm. means Jews. Um, but often yeah. when you say, especially when you say it in English or Russian or Hebrew, any other language, it means like mountain Jews specifically. Um, and then Juhuri is Jewish um, mm-hmm. or the Jewish language, Juhuri. Um, so um, there are just a, a couple more sentences here. Um, and hopefully they'll bring up some more familiar words. So this is again about Yeva. U zuhuna azinda gofevos ari achalk rasunda adai kumaki softa. She revived the language and then the, she kind of made it available for the uh, people. Mm-hmm. Or just, she kept the language alive, I think. Or, yeah. Yeah, she helps the kind of living word. Go out mm-hmm. from from the stage to the people. Yeah, spot on. So yeah. how is very widely um, used yeah. and yeah. Um, one cool thing about Juri that I like really love is um th- the way that there are affixes on both sides of words sometimes. So um when I'm saying like with a living word, it's um so like living word is zindegof, but if I want to say with a living word, it's a zindegofevos. So you add on both sides. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then same in this next sentence. Yeah, um, ma'alumi game. So ma'alum, we we talked about. Yeah, ma'alumi game is my other teacher. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, Bramova, ila atzi shohiri. Your shohiri. other teacher was Batsyan Abramova. She's poet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and a contemporary poet, Ila Az. U Aimu, Ed Jovonho, Eri Rachi, and Zuhuna Vinira, Zuhuna Hum Vomuchtai, and they Kumiki Sota. To keep the language alive. Yeah, to, to learn the language, um, Vomuchta. Okay. And then how about this one, Eri Rachi, and Zuhuna Vinira? Eri Rachi? Rachi and Zuhuna Vinira. Rachi. Vinira. Maybe this is also unique. Uh, Rachi means beauty in, um, in Juhuri. So it's not, um, yeah, it's, I think, quite different. It's not gazelle. I mean, yep. gazelle can also be used sometimes, but. Um, yeah, and vinira means to see, oh, which nice. I think actually is that there are some languages that have this. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like in Latin, for example, I think. 
and then the Jewish Iranian languages have been, or well, been becomes mm. vin, so v, like vin, which is uh, oh. close to what you said. Mm. That's it. You you all did it. Like that, that was really <laughs> important. <laughs> and thank you for offering that platform. Like I think when, um, like Lera Nakshun, who I'll, I'll talk about again in a bit when I'm kind of giving more information about language, um, like advocacy efforts, um. She was like really excited about the possibility of there being like a video on your channel about Jubilee. <laughs> um, you know, struggling to think like who could who could do it. Um, because like there there like basically there isn't such a person as a monolingual Jewelry speaker, but most people speak Russian or Azerbaijani um or Hebrew. And Batsion speaks Russian, Azerbaijani, Hebrew, Turkish, and Jewelry English. <laughs> Because <laughs> maybe she can tell yeah. like a little bit more. She naturally, uh, all, all our life we learned it. We learned the Jewry in uh, as mother tongue in our family. In Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan uh, was the one of uh, five, uh, 15 sister republics of former uh, Soviet Union. And uh, we had to learn Russian language that we learned in Azerbaijan and in Russian from, uh, uh, we began our learnings for, from first, first class, for, for, from first uh, grade at uh, 12 years, from first year at, uh, till 12 years. And it was only in Azerbaijan or in Russian. But in the same time, we learned there, if we learned in Russian, we learned Azerbaijan language and English language uh, as well. And if we learned in Azerbaijani language, our uh, school, we learned the Russian and English language. So we, all our, uh, our life uh, in, 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 the, in the school, we learned already three languages, Russian, Azerbaijan, and English. And Jehuri, it was our mother tongue. We came to Israel, we learned Hebrew. And that's why we have <laughs> the, uh, the languages that I can speak. And Turkish language, I know because Azerbaijan language and Turkish language, they are sister languages. Yeah. And uh, that's why it, it, Turkish language is a spare language for me. <laughs> and can you understand Persian when it's spoken as well or not? <laughs> But Persian language, we understand that if somebody will speak with me uh, Persian and I will understand the meaning of the conversation, not every word, the meaning of the mm -hmm. conversation, mm -hmm. because there are many words uh, uh, that uh, they are the similar with the jewelry. Mm -hmm. yep. There are many similar languages in Iranian family, spoken family, that the words are the same, is uh, written and is uh, saying. So to um, round off Bahadur, as you suggested, um, I was thinking I could just say a couple of words if people are curious where they can learn more. Um, and then Batsyon will also give a little bit more detail about Jodi history, but that's it. Yeah, so what I wanted to mention, um, first of all, um, I talked before about um, my friend Lera Nakshun, Valeria Nakshun. Um, she and I have been starting up a group of younger English speakers um, who are learning or um, studying Juhuri. So um, basically the, the format is that I've been giving lessons, but we're also getting ready to put out a podcast. So hopefully these lessons will be accessible to a wider range of people. Um, the trouble is that most pedagogical resources about Juhuri are in Russian or potentially in Hebrew. And um, if you don't um, use those languages, then it's it's difficult to learn Jehudi. But um, hopefully that is gonna change um, through efforts of the efforts of people like Lera. Um, and the other thing I wanted to mention is that there's gonna be an article coming out soon in um, Russian language journal, um, which is, it's bilingual. So it's also called Ruski Yazik. 
Um, and it's going to be about a number of indigenous languages um, in the Russian Federation, but there is also a segment in there about Juhuri and the resources that exist in Juhuri for English speakers. So when there's a link for that, and it may not be right away, when, when this video comes out, I'll send it to you, Bahadur, so you can put it um, in, in the description. And even though, like, even since then, I've kind of understood things in new ways. Um, it's a little bit, it's been a while since, since I wrote it. Hopefully the resources will still be useful. Um, so if you um, are Juhur and you want to learn Juhuri, there are ways to do that. Um, even if you don't have day-to-day -day, um, contact with Juhuri speakers or with um, older relatives. Um, so that's, that's what I wanted to say. There are ways to move forward and to, to learn the language. Um, and Batsion, uh, if you want to continue saying in a little bit more detail about um, Jurho and uh, the culture and, and history. Nowadays, I, uh, um, I teach jewelry and online and offline, and I write uh, textbooks, stories, poems, and uh, other things, and so on, on jewelry uh, in order to develop uh, and enlarge uh, this um, language, because our language is unfortunately mute uh, among the other languages where and, uh, it, uh, uh, we think that it can be uh, disappear. And that's why all over the world, uh, a large number of group of people uh, uh, do their best uh, in order to realize some uh, suitable projects uh, in order to develop, provide the language and develop its, uh, its um, learning. The, the mountain Jewish, uh, how in the beginning of uh, how I said, uh, they are historically were, uh, separated in some areas. And wherever that they were uh, uh, during the history, they every time always they uh, kept one the main thing in their uh, life that they uh, ruled by the very Torah. That means they um, kept traditions of uh, Judaism and developed it in their practice in that places where they live. The second the main features of the mountain Jews is that they, uh, wherever during history they were, they loved the land uh, they adapted by. But the, and they were uh, in a, a admirable uh, coexistence and the mutual understanding with the native population, native national uh, nations and nationality. And this made the Judaism, the mountain Jewish, to be uh, loved uh, by the people that surrounded them and they kept it as an identical card of themselves the ruling by the very Torah. And uh, uh, in Maine, they uh, kept their culture, uh, their culture, their traditions, and the oral, uh, oral speech in uh, how Hila said, in their uh, oral speech form, they wrote the, the, all uh, things they uh, wanted to be uh, provided uh, in the language. That's a really wonderful. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm sure for a lot of people, it's, it's very educational uh, as, as they're interested, uh, because as I was saying before, it's really wonderful what you're doing and uh, preserving the language and also teaching it because, uh, uh, you know, a lot of uh, Judeo-Iranian languages, and there are many of them uh, which uh, are going extinct. They're not really being spoken much, and, and sadly, they're not being passed on to 
future generations. So this is this is really really wonderful work, and and I want to thank uh, the both of you. Um, and uh, also, the, the video was really wonderful. Uh, our uh, our participants did a lot better than I, I thought they would. <laughs> uh, I thought I thought that the, the the latter part of it would be very challenging, but you guys did an awesome job. So thank you so much. Thank you for uh, having me in this video. It was really enlightening to learn a little more about the Judeo uh, Tat language, Juhuri, uh, because I come from northern Tajikistan, and we had uh, a lot of uh, Bukharian uh, people, mm -hmm. Bukharian Jewish people. So it was really great to learn that there are uh, kind of similar like languages. So yeah, it was great uh, being part of this video. Thank you. Thank you so much for my side as well. Uh, it was a great pleasure and uh, it was a great opportunity for me to get to know the language better and get to know uh, Batsia and uh, Pila's works and, uh, and their poems and so on. Uh, so it was a great pleasure. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, for me, th this is very inspirational. Um, I'm doing a lot of work with the, the Jewish Language Project, which is a, mm. I'm trying to record basically Jewish languages from all over the world, including Juhuri. And uh, we just started doing a lot more with uh, Jewish Aramaic and the central Iranian Jewish languages and Jewish Judeo Shirazi and all of those, so, which is a lot of my heritage is all of those. Um, and so seeing your efforts in preserving Juhuri is, is very inspirational for what I want to do and bringing resources for learning all these other languages to, uh, to the young people before they die. So, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. No, I completely agree. And uh, there are links to uh, work that Alan's done. I, I do want to share that and encourage people to go check them out. Uh, very interesting, very, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, uh, Judeo-Iranian languages out there, if you're interested, this will be very cool for you to check out. Thank you for your interest uh, to Jewry language. And it was very interesting meeting. Thank you so much, everyone. This was really wonderful. I'm glad we were able to work the time for all of us to be able to put this together. Uh, so thanks again. Have a, a great day and a great evening. And uh, we'll talk soon. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.